In this lesson, I will be introducing the concept of earned schedule. Let's use a simple example to understand this further. We have a project with the planned duration of four days. The plan is to spend a total of $400 at a rate of $100 per day. This is a plot of planned value. The project starts and now we are at the end of the third day. The planned value at the end of the third day is $300. This is the earned value plot. The earned value at the end of day 3 is only $200. Completed work is less than the planned work. We are behind schedule. How do we quantify this delay? The gap between planned value and the earned value is the schedule variance. Schedule variance is simply earned value minus the planned value. Earned value is $200. Planned value is $300. So, schedule variance is minus $100. Another parameter that tracks schedule performance is the SPI or Schedule Performance Index. SPI is earned value divided by planned value. It is approximately 0.67 or 67%. Interpretation of these parameters is simple. If a project is ahead of schedule, earned value will be greater than the planned value. This will make schedule variance positive and SPI greater than 1. If a project is on schedule, earned value will equal planned value. Schedule variance is 0 and SPI equals 1. Similarly, if a project is behind schedule, earned value will be smaller than the planned value. Schedule variance is negative and SPI is less than 1. In our example, schedule variance is negative, minus 100. SPI is 0 0.67 less than 1. We are behind schedule. Schedule variance and SPI seem to be doing a good job. We know we are behind schedule. But by how much? We are behind schedule by $100. Schedule variance is in dollars. We have completed roughly 67% of the planned job. SPI is the percentage of completed activities. Time is missing. This is definitely a limitation of traditional EVM approach. We have additional challenges with the traditional approach of tracking schedule performance. We will go back to our example. It is end of fifth day and the project is complete with a delay of one day. Budget at completion is the total planned value of project activities. It is $400 in this example. We have completed all the planned activities. So, the earned value at project completion at the end of day 5 equals BAC or $400. What about the planned value? The plan was to complete the project in 4 days. BAC is $400. So, planned value at the end of day 4 is also $400. Planned value can never exceed BAC. After day 4, planned value will remain constant at $400. Planned value at the end of day 5 will also equal BAC or $400. At the end of the fifth day, earned value is $400. Planned value is also $400. So, schedule variance will be 0. And SPI will be 
1. Schedule variance is 0. SPI is 1. What does it mean? The project is on schedule. That's not true. We have a delay of one day. There is clearly a problem with traditional EVM approach. The concept of earned schedule allows us to overcome these problems. Let's go back to our example. It is end of the third day and we have earned value of dollar 200. The planned value is dollar 300. Both earned value and planned value are in dollars. In our new approach, instead of dollars, we will focus on time. Let me introduce a new term here, actual time. It is the time that is already consumed. Actual time for this example is three days. Is this aligned with our plan? We have earned value of dollar two hundred in three days, but as per the plan, we were supposed to complete dollar two hundred worth of activities in only two days. Planned value at the end of day two is dollar two hundred. We have managed to complete two days worth of activities, even though we have already consumed three days. The time that was planned for the completion of activities is the earned schedule. Earned schedule at the end of day three is just two days. We should have completed dollar two hundred worth of job in two days, but we have taken three days. The gap between earned schedule and the actual time is the schedule variance. Schedule variance that is based on time. This is different from the dollar-based schedule variance in the traditional EVM approach. SVT3 is a time-based schedule variance at the end of day 3. Mathematically, it equals earned schedule minus the actual time. Earned schedule is 2 days. Actual time is 3 days. So, schedule variance is minus 1 day. We can also define time-based schedule performance index. Schedule performance index at the end of the third day equals the ratio of earned schedule to actual time. SPI equals 0.67 or 67%. How do we interpret these parameters? When earned schedule is more than the actual time, the project is ahead of schedule. Schedule variance is positive and SPI is greater than 1. When earned schedule equals actual time, the project is on schedule. Schedule variance is 0 and SPI equals 1. Finally, when the earned schedule is less than the actual time, the project is behind schedule. Schedule variance is negative and SPI is less than 1. In our example, schedule variance is negative, minus 1 day. SPI is 0 0.67, less than 1. We are clearly behind schedule. By how much? We are behind schedule by exactly 1 day. In relative terms, we are 1 minus 0 0.67 or 33% behind schedule. Time-based schedule variance and schedule performance index are clearly doing a good job. Let's see if the concept of earned schedule also works well for our second scenario. It is end of fifth day and the project is complete with a delay of one day. Actual time is 5 days. The plan was to complete all project activities in 4 days. This means the earned schedule is 4 days. Let's calculate the time-based schedule variance. Schedule variance is 
minus one day. Scheduled performance index will be 0 0.8 or 80 percent. Schedule variance is negative and SPI is less than 1. We are clearly behind schedule. Earn schedule is able to provide us schedule status even after the project is complete. Definitely an improvement over traditional EVM. Next, let's look at a problem. You are managing a project with the planned duration of 18 months. Your organization recommends the use of earned schedule concept for evaluating the schedule performance of the project. The performance measurement baseline of the project shows that the total planned value of the project is $900K. The plan is to utilize this fund uniformly across the project duration. We are already one year into the project. According to data from PMIS, the earned value of the project is $450K. Which of the following is correct? A. The schedule variance is 3 months and the project is ahead of schedule. B. The schedule variance is minus 3 months and the project is ahead of schedule. C. The schedule variance is 3 months and the project is behind schedule. D. The schedule variance is minus 3 months and the project is behind schedule. Please pause the video and try this problem. The project duration is 18 months and it is already one year since the project started. We have to find the schedule variance. Schedule variance based on time at the end of 12 months. Schedule variance is earned schedule minus the actual time. Actual time is 12 months. We have consumed 12 months for an earned value of $450K. How much time was allocated for this work in the plan? The plan time is the earned schedule. BAC for the project is $900K, total planned value. This budget has to be used uniformly across the project duration. The plan is to consume $900K in 18 months. So, for $450K, if we go as per the plan, we have 9 months. 9 months is the earned schedule at the end of 12 months. Earned schedule is 9 months. Actual time is 12 months. So, schedule variance is minus 3 months. Schedule variance is 3 months in options A and C. Both are incorrect. The schedule variance is minus 3 months. It is negative, less than 0. This means we are behind schedule. So, B is also incorrect. D is our choice.